Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So this was yesterday's patron exclusive uh, for obvious reasons, just looking at the title. Uh, we want to thank our newest patron. We want to say a huge thank you to Miss Melinda. We appreciate your support. Absolutely. Again, exclusive videos going up several times a week over on Patreon. So we have finally had a big quake. We had a 7.2 some sources were saying 7.6. Uh, this is in Peru, as you see the ground shaking over there with that CCTV cam. Uh, it, as we're going to look over here, boy, did that stick out when I looked this morning because, you know, it's been really, really weird. Uh, it, it, for the most part, you know, we've had nothing but fives and that in some ways is not good because you want energy to be released in a manageable way. Uh, here, this one was 28 kilometers deep, uh, did trigger a tsunami uh, watch. As far as we know as of this time, uh, no major in injuries or anything reported. Uh, this, again, is such a fascinating area. Peru is loaded with uh, ancient alien, let's say, in inner Earth history. Oh, it is. It is. It is. You know, and it's um, something that, I, gosh, I just wish it were in school. I, I wish it were our basic education because all of this paints a very beautiful picture of where we are from. I, I, I love this stuff. I, I just wish it were out there more. Yes, and we did put a little survey over on Patreon to see what people want more of so far it seems that hidden history is the things uh, that people want to see more of as you see Cusco here um, it's also uh, not far from Nazca where this quake was so those Nazca lines that look up into the air with figures you can only see from above I thought it was interesting because I just read this the other day and the US aircraft carrier the George Washington conducted bilateral exercises with the Peruvian Navy and anchored off the coast of Peru on Thursday. So you had an aircraft carrier, which in the map, uh, they show it in a different position now. But this aircraft carrier was just like right here off, off the coast of Peru. Isn't that curious? You know, I, I only bring it up because I remember seeing a couple quakes over in the Gulf of Oman area at a time when we had our Navy sitting over there too. So it makes you wonder, at least it makes some of us wonder. Um, yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> you can't help but question. No, you, you got to question. You got to question everything. And so, you know, while I'm at it, we'll take a peek at the map right now as I scroll all the way on up. And, you know, again, we have a lot of deployed forces, um, as you see the Mount Whitney up here um, off the Baltic area. Um, and then there's the Eisenhower, which is inside the Mediterranean. Uh, now they're showing the George Washington off the coast of uh, Costa Rica. Carl Vinson's out in the Pacific. Uh, and, you know, we do have uh, quite a bit of firepower in the area proximity of China uh, right now. There's nonstop war games going on. I mean, it's nonstop. You know, they, they finish one exercise, they go right to another exercise. This is just what's happening in these times. Mississippi, Minnesota, Missouri rivers all uh, expected to hit their highest levels in a decade. Uh, in fact, look at that, April 13th, 1965. Pretty close. This is in Minnesota. There's been massive flooding going on. You know, it's just, it's either drought or it's uh, massive biblical floods. I know. And you know what I was thinking is I heard a lot of people reporting that their electric bill had changed because of the Mississippi was going down. So I wonder if they're going to get their electric bill readjusted now that they've raised the prices. So that, does that mean prices are going to go down? Hmm, we'll see. It never goes that way. <laughs> it's a given. You know, the system just takes and the system doesn't give. Uh, here's a 100-foot wide, 30-foot deep sinkhole. And it, this is a school. And it just, whoosh, that is disconcerting. They say it was because of mining activities. This is in um, 
Alton, Illinois. Mining activities. Why are people mining under the soccer field? Hmm. Uh, okay, sure. Safety is our top priority. That's what they always say. No, profits, your top priority. It's just the corporate way. Everything else is secondary. Yeah, very, very curious, to say the least. And then we had this. Okay, kids, are you ready for this one? Let's see. Make it sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I'm able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare, we finally, we finally find housing for black Americans. The impact of uh, the, the choice, the idea that they're going uh, to, I'm not proposing that. Everybody, they pay, the millionaires pay 1%, 1%. So no one after, uh, I've not raised the cost of Social Security for anybody. I got my handicap, which when I was Vice President, down to a six. And, and once you get rid of the, you get rid of the ability of Medicare to, uh, you know, for the ability to, for the, us to be able to negotiate drug prices with the big pharma companies. The I want to do six taxes. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. No one was hurt. No one is really was accidentally killed. And it can stop. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. So in case you missed it, there was a debate last night, sort of. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it kind of looks like a warning ad for Alzheimer's. Yeah, it does. I mean, well, you know, it's just one of those things. And <clears throat> um, I guess I guess he, he did his best, and it was quite a performance. You know, that's that's what he is supposed to do. You know, but it's it, it is fascinating to see the comments and stuff, and it, I'm still amazed that there's so many people that really truly think that presidents make uh, big decisions. That it, it that the president <clears throat> is the reason why you know everything either falls apart or goes a little bit better for a while, and then it, uh, invariably it's 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 a um, always consistently a downward spiral uh, as far as the living conditions, the rights of the average person. It has been a downward spiral. This has been, you know, kind of this is like when the water's going down in the, in the tub and this is the sucking sound. <laughs> uh, I mean, how can anybody think that you know, and this is perhaps the purpose that he's making any legitimate decisions. But then people will say, well, you know, Obama's doing all the decision making. Uh, you know, newsflash, Obama is an actor, too. They're all actors. They've always been actors. This is really no different than watching, uh, you know, a play, watching the wrestling, you know, watching something that is scripted because it's completely scripted. And so you then ask, we, we watch just because we want to know, okay, well, what, what are they going to give us next? Well, immediately the news is like, if you look to Drudge, top headline, disaster, replace Joe. Uh, same thing. All, all the news outlets are talking about, you know, got to replace Joe, got to replace Joe. And okay, so this is all part of what they are selling us. And naturally, you get Newsom. Obviously, it won't be Harris because, you know, it, it, she's never caught the uh, imagination of really anybody when you get down to it. But, you know, Michelle, oh, oh I mean, Big Mike, uh, Big Mike and Hillary and Newsom, those are the names that we see. So, you know, Hillary is the, some of the most intense dislike in the world so i mean what, what are they trying to do do they if they're trying to divide us which they always are 
well, what would be the most divisive thing to happen, I guess? What do you see coming with the script? Well, a lot of people wonder, you know, even in California, the, they are tired of Newsom and they don't know how Newsom po- could have possibly won. But I remember, oh gosh, I don't know how many months ago, three months ago, four months ago, I, Newsom was at, at the White House. Mm-hmm. So this is, that's just proof that this has been in the making for a very long time. He went there to just, you know, solidify things and to, you know, pick up his cue cards and, and understand what his part is going to be. Um, when I see Newsom, I see Trudeau and Macron because to me they're they're all like triplets separated at birth. They they really are. I mean, there's there's just something about them. They you, they have different bodies, but they came out of the same clone closet. Yeah, they got exactly the same energy, you know. So, and again, you know, Nec- Macron. He now it's he's been around for so long. I I think their elections with. Uh, France for his position is 2027, but I'm not really up on all the nuances of, you know, the different European Union uh, countries and exactly how they operate, because I know they can call for snap elections. Now, there's going to be some elections that he did call for snap elections, and, you know, they say he's going to be trounced, um, his party to be trounced and you know throw in a lot of the other side but you got to recognize and and David Icke um, he does recognize that there's just again two sides of the same coin they want to keep flipping this coin they, they want to keep going back and forth in in a pendulum that leads to nowhere but it is interesting to see what they're showing for the masses that are still walking around uh, sleepwalking in the zombie apocalypse uh, so, you know, the drama continues. Meanwhile, the CDC issues dengue fever alert in the U.S. as hundreds of cases confirmed in Florida. And it's interesting. This, to me, looks like it's metallic. I mean, it, it looks like it's shining and polished. And we know that there are um, drones that are insect. There are insect drones. There are insect drones. And this could hold a lot of, um, you know, certain fluid in a drone and so it also um gil bates had had bragged about making uh certain insects sterile by introducing other insects into the population and it was just a matter of time and you know hey they're all going to be sterile well 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 we put two and two and two together and what do we get victory here tractor supply announces they're going to eliminate dei roles stop sponsoring lgbt events and carbon goals refuse to share any data with human rights campaign wow i had seen where they were having a lot of issues i had seen where they were not doing so good because who supports tractor supply? Um, a lot of country folk, a lot of people that you could classify as far right. And if they tick them off, then absolutely it's going to impact the bottom line. And this is what I was talking about with uh, David Icke. Here you see Macron and the globalist in meltdown as Le Pen's National Party leads every single poll. This is what happens when you force change against the will of the people. Bernie needs to wake up because, no, it's it's again, like David says, this is exactly what they do to keep us buying the puppet show. The real controllers do not even, you would know a real controller. It, it certainly is, is not a Macron, a Trudeau, uh, n- not, not a Newsom, not a JB. And it's true. These right wing freedom fighters support is real absolutely and look to um look to italy you know uh you know everybody was saying yay she's she's the savior of italy and you know she's totally supporting uh the war over there or the human rights abuse that's going on over there so this is what they have. They, they, they have it divided and subdivided and subdivided yet again. Yet it's always them. It still is always them. 
So if we if they have to go to plan C, D, E, or F, it's still all their puppets that they're just shuffling around. We have to really eliminate the whole system. The system has to go out the window. Or as I've said, pack it all up, send them to Mars. We really do have to vote with with money, you know, in, in just so many words. To me, it's fairly simple. Tractor supply doing what they're doing, it's money. Money is the motivator. Um, that's where it's at. So I think we need to be really, really mindful of where we're going to. Because our power, their power is is money. And all of us hold just a little bit. And if we are very, very careful with the little bit of power that they recognize as legitimate, then they they have to bend to our will because they need that. So I think it's about slowing down, being a little more mindful about where we spend that and transmute this rotten system and create a system that we all can look at and be proud of. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's going to happen one person at a time, one decision at a time, and we're, we're going to get there. Absolutely. And again, 45 um, blind support for Israel, blind support. So, you know, it, it's this, the big wake up is people recognizing that you're not going to get anywhere with the system that's in place. We got to come up with something different. And here you see early analysis from the sample from asteroid Bennu revealed essential components for life, and it's believed it came from an ancient ocean world. Ah, this is, again, just a little bit more disclosure, disclosure as this is coming from uh, somebody that works for NASA. Yeah, never a straight answer. And meanwhile, they show us, you know, the bodies of these different beings and you know some look fabricated well you know some have metal rods in them well you know <laughs> part of what they want to do is to merge humanity with uh, a ai and they want to basically create uh, a race of perfect cyborg slaves this is really what they want now this uh, has an elongated skull and they say it has a tridactyl non-human fetus inside the womb all of uh, disclosure does not hinge on this or any one piece of evidence because uh, I would venture to say there's millions of pieces of evidence. It, it's, it, there's so much evidence that really, you, if you are not aware of any of it, it's just because you haven't looked. You know what was really, really strange about this when I looked into it a little bit deeper um, energetically is it's in the womb. So I, I didn't think that there would be as much awareness as there is in it. The awareness of what is going on, what it is, what uh, its, its job is to be. Um, it was really very curious uh, how much information and knowledge this had being what they say inside the womb. So I think this speaks to a race of humans that is far more powerful and probably they're probably really not wanting them to be born possibly because I think there's just too much. They hold too many abilities there possibly. Yeah, that's where as much as I enjoy certain things um, and certain people exposing things then we still get down these rabbit holes that lead back to another um, another area of control for the power system. So, you know, as we are aware of these things and, you know, whether it's, it's so many of those out there right now, and I don't want to name names, that are doing a good job disclosing certain things when we're still stuck in one of their paradigms, just, just like take Russell Brand again, Finding the church after all these years, uh, yeah, you know, you're still in something they can use. You're still in something they can use to control. So, you know, like right now, too, if you look to all the good that was um, being done, and look at it, all of a sudden you see something do a, er, boom. Yeah, that's, that's not an airplane when it comes and goes uh, at, a, at almost a right angle. 
you you had uh, Oklahoma, Louisiana, um, and other states putting in laws, Tennessee, you know, that are against the establishment. But then now in Louisiana and Oklahoma, they're putting in laws uh, going in the opposite direction now where like Ten Commandments has to be shown in every single uh, classroom somewhere. Uh, even teaching Oklahoma was just putting in a law teaching uh, like certain biblical history as history. So they still got you. They still got you because that's their paradigm too. They make the left, they make the right. Uh, they've given us uh, the Bible, they've given us the Koran, they've you know given us the Talmud. So you know as long as they got us somewhere and still have us trapped in this monetary system, we still have a ways to go. Mm-hmm. We we do we do you know, and I I don't think it's um, something that we're supposed to walk away from. I mean, our purpose is to come here and to change things. And right now, the the system is so big. To me, the only way it can be changed is to get in there, get your hands dirty, you know, figure out a way so that the controllers are no longer in control. And that means be very mindful of where your energy goes because that that's the, the controlling factor. I, you know, it shows to be money. Money is like the 3D energy, but money also has its own energy and it has its own processes and it has its own way of being. And we can direct that. We can learn to direct that in ways that are going to be more advantageous for our purpose and what we want to see. Here you have a row of termites and a row of ants uh, squaring off and just, they're like an army protecting uh, the rest while they go about doing their work. Uh, as above, so below, as within, so without. Isn't it interesting? Again, how many times do people just take the time to, to wonder about the intelligence of something like an ant or a termite? They show structure. They, stro they show organization. I mean, these are the hallmarks of a civilization, and maybe they don't build like we do. In some ways, they build better than we do. They are certainly more flexible and uh, can overcome a lot, including being flooded out when people find fire hand uh, mounds. They simply pack up and they go somewhere else. I know, and, you know, I mean, this brings me to uh, point out how different we are as human beings with emotions being something that really sets us sets us apart there's consciousness in these bugs but they have more of a driven consciousness it's like they know their purpose and they're not going to be driven by anger fear trauma there's none of that in their little societies they have a purpose and they walk that line and and sometimes Things like anger, fear, trauma that humans experience can really throw us for a loop and can kind of throw us off our path. But don't be quick too quick to throw out things like anger, fear, and trauma because it also guides us. It molds us. It makes us who we are today. And that's a lot of wisdom. You don't want to just throw that wisdom out the window. This is something that should be honored and cherished and and passed on. You know, when you, when you learn something pass it on so maybe somebody won't somebody else won't have the same uh horrible experiences it, it all has purpose the anger inside of us has a purpose it, it shouldn't be looked at as less than so that's just i guess what i wanted to say and then this thing is super cool here if you're looking on this screen uh someone created this and I, I just thought it was fascinating. It was really creative. It was so artistic and so well done. This was just a lot of fun. Oh, man. Yeah, there's there's just so much fun to be had in this world and so many things to uncover. And again, so much is our perspective because when you've been so indoctrinated, and that's exactly what the education system is, it's indoctrination. They are forming the lens that you are to watch and view and participate in the world with and looking through. When we recognize that it's it's a distortion, everything changes. Everything changes. <laughs> and this is what I mean when 
channeling channeling it's all about perspective it's all about what you have seen and how you know the world to be and then the information that you are taking in and putting back out there perspective is so fun to me yeah absolutely you know it's, you could easily see how some fog might obscure your vision but when that fog is is the preconceived ideas that's been loaded into our consciousness it makes it really, really challenging. There's a lot of challenging things in life. And and I think, again, overcoming the programming is one of the biggest endeavors to achieve. Sometimes you just need to hang out with friends and have some fun. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.